We're here at the biannual robotic conference in Israel, and you're here with a very special Israeli technology. Tell us what we see here behind you. Okay, what we see here, this uh, robotic vehicle is called the Avangard Unmanned Ground Combat Vehicle. We are speaking here about an autonomous robotic vehicle that could do actual combat fighting missions uh, and act as a advance guard, an armed sentry for the ground forces before they are getting into danger zones. It has a unique uh, and tailored mission uh, payload package that includes a remotely operated weapon station, ground penetrating radar, counter IED jammers, and electro optic devices that provide the, the warfighter with information about what he has around him and in front of him. How is this controlled? It is controlled from a uh, uh, command vehicle, a chase vehicle, which is uh, following the robot. The control is guiding the robot what to do, and the robot uses his sensor suit to maneuver itself independently, conduct the mission and collect all the information, transmitting it to the command vehicle. So it's controlled by someone. How much of the actions are actually dependent on the robot and the technology on the program? Okay, the maneuvering, the terrain uh, following is done uh, by the robot. The activation of the payload system is done by the operator, specifically the remotely operated weapon station. So it enables us to reduce the footprint of operators. To in, uh, the robot conducts all the maneuvering and, and uh, uh, route uh, missions independently. Operator use the payload suit uh, in order to activate and manipulate the mission uh, uh, aspect of the of the robot. Now, I believe that one of the fears with something like that is that it could be stolen, it could be taken over by the enemy. There's no soldiers here to fight back. How, what, what kind of defense mechanism do you have here? Okay, you cannot interfere with the operation of the uh, of the robot vehicle. Everything is encrypted. Everything is uh, protected. Uh, we have anti-tampering tampering mechanism that allow us to challenge everyone which uh, try to tamper with the UGV. Uh, and I can uh, take the new questions and give you a change of direction. Uh, which is the better situation if you have three or four soldiers within a vehicle which are attacked by a, a gang of uh, insurgents or a robotic vehicle that enable you to freeze the situation and react in you with your own uh, time and resources whenever you choose to do so. In any case, it's much safer to work with a robotic vehicle rather than to send your own person to the field.